Uh, questions for Jared? Hey, Jared, uh, how, how tough was it today to, to find out you weren't on the opening day roster? And, and how did the meeting go with, with Skip and Jerry and the group? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's it's frustrating. I mean, I'm a, I'm a competitor, and I want to help this team win as soon as possible. Um, but, you know, I uh, I understand, like, where they're coming from. And, like, all I can do right now is, you know, focus on what I need to focus and uh, get there as soon as possible. Jared, do you feel like the knee at all kind of hindered your ability to potentially break camp with the big league team? I mean, taking you out for a week and a half and you you worked hard to get back, but was that a factor at all, do you think? Uh, you know, I don't know if I can answer that, um, but what I can tell you is that, you know, I worked my tail off um, every single day that I was here. I gave it 110%, whether I was playing on the field or whether I wasn't, um, and – that's all I could really do. That's all I could control. And uh, I thought that so far, I, I felt like this camp, I, I really did some really good things. And um, that's all I could, that's all I really have to say about it. Kind of and building you're... off that, you you talked about it to us last Friday, but just the energy in camp. What, what was this spring training like for you? Can you kind of build on that a little bit? Just uh, being around the younger guys and, uh, you know, looking forward to the future. What was this spring training in particular for you? Uh, I thought I thought it was uh, it was exciting, uh, not only as a player but also as um, a fan, uh, because you got to kind of see this this core group uh, all together on one field. Um, it, it was it was definitely reassuring seeing how hard each and every one of the guys worked every single day, uh, whether it was in the cage and their like in their bullpens. Um, defensive work, whatever it may be, um, you know, that was uh, that was the fun part about this. Jared, you maybe you just answered this a little bit, but you'd gotten some at bats uh, in spring training previously, but it felt like, especially when you were out there and Julio was out there, that we got a chance to see both of you guys against uh, closer to frontline pitchers, not guys at the end of the game. Did it feel like you were a little bit more involved in the in in the process, and maybe it makes it feel like the finish line is a little bit closer today than it was in years past? <laughs> A hundred percent. And that was kind of what I was communicated to um, in my meeting uh, is that, you know, you know, the finish line is right there. And now I just got to keep going out and um, focus on the things that I need to focus on. And, you know, that's really all I can control. Um, be a good teammate, especially being down here. Uh, it's not the ideal situation. Obviously, we'd rather be going to an affiliate or something like that to, to play games. But you know, it's the cards that I was dealt, and, you know, I'm just going to continue to, you know, play my tail off. Sure. Scott mentioned, or you mentioned the stuff that they asked you to work on. Is it all, is it physical? Is it, is it, what is it that they want you to work on without getting into exact specifics? Uh, I mean, it's, it's not a whole lot. Um, you know, it's a, a lot of it is just reps. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, with me being down here now or going back to my early camp, uh, it's going to be back here in Arizona. Um, hopefully get as many reps as I can before, you know, hopefully my number gets called very shortly. All right, guys, anything else? Jared, you seem like you're in a – Go ahead, Daniel. Jared, you seem like you're in a much better place from the start of camp, at least mentally with the organization. Do you, do you feel like – things have been patched up in that regard from where things started a month and a half ago? You know, I would say that we're, we're in the right, we're going in the right direction uh, as an organization, as a, as a team, um, as, you know, as friends, especially just in the clubhouse. Um, and, you know, that's all that I'm focusing on right now is, you know, moving in the right direction because at the end of the day, uh, what I really want to do is help this team win. And uh, I know whoever, anyone that works for this organization wants to help this team win in any way that they can or else they wouldn't be here. Uh, and that was kind of the, the conversations that we had. Um, and oh, I think we're, we're all on the same page. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, I'm frustrated that I'm not going to be on the opening day roster. But, you know, that's not going to stop me from working. Um, and I just – 
I'm excited for all the guys that are going to be there. I'm excited for uh, this season. Um, and I'm excited to learn because this is going to be a big year for me. It's going to be a big time to learn. Um, pro- I'm going to make some mistakes and I'm going to learn from it. And I'm just excited to, when I look back when this year is over, to, uh, to, to have learned a lot. Jared, have you heard of the, how many games like they're going to be able to get you down here? I know minor league games don't start right away, but Scott was mentioning some B games or stuff. Have you heard anything about how many at-bats and games you could get in? You know, I, I haven't gotten the exact number, uh, but, you know, if uh, what I've been communicated to is they're going to give me as much as many at-bats as I possibly can. Um, and, you know, whether that's, you know, getting a live at-bat one day and then or getting a couple live at-bats one day and then playing in a game the next day because there isn't a game. Um, you know, I, I think that we're on the same page of me getting as many at-bats as possible. Jared, it sounds like your path is crystal clear to you. You know what you have to do that's been laid out in front of you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like I said before, um, you know, I, I wish that I was going to be able to go with the team to Seattle uh, on opening day, but unfortunately that's not the case. And, um, you know, this is just another – this is just another um, – a bump in the road that you got to get, get past and keep working because – you know, even when I get to the big leagues, whenever that may be, um, that's not that's not I'm not I'm not done working. Um, there's still a lot more that I, Jerry Kelnick, want to do. Um, and there's there's things that, you know, I want to do to help this team win and, and grow as an individual. And so um, getting to the big leagues is definitely a huge goal of mine. But, you know, the end goal is much more than that.